Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. So we are just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Gemini for the week of August 17th through the 23rd? What are we going to have for Gemini? Oh, there we go. Bread. Period of... of <laughs> let, me, let me start over. Period of prosperity and abundance. Ink paw. Problems to be resolved. Dog. Protection from a powerful friend. So, you have a problem that needs to be resolved this week. Okay, it looks like it's messy. Okay, it looks like uh, it's a big mess. It may be hard to deal with. Okay, you may be, you may be having a hard time, um, you know, cleaning this up. But you are protected. So that's a, that's a... That's a good thing. It is. Period of prosperity and abundance. So that's good. You got plenty. You got enough. So there's really not a lot to worry about, even though you got a big mess that, I mean, it can be cleaned up. You may need professional. You may need a professional to clean it up. <laughs> You may need to communicate, okay? You may need to communicate and not hold back anything. I don't know. That's a little bit of a different message. But you may need to ask for help or something. What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? Two of Cups reversed. Now, we all know what the Two of Cups reversed is. It's, a, it's an argument or a disconnection. There's an imbalance here. So... It could be a separation. And it doesn't have to be with a lover. It could be. But this could be with a friend. It could be with a family member. This is a separation from somebody that you know. Four of Cups reverse. Now this is taking an opportunity. Somebody is interested now. They're interested. They're interested in something new. They may have missed something. But now they're seeing something. They may have been ignoring, but you can't ignore it anymore. It's right in front of your face. So it's right or it's right in front of somebody else's face. Remember, these readings can always go vice versa. So somebody's gonna see something that they missed. Ten of Cups reversed. So this it this could be children leaving the home. It could be a dying dream. I'm just being honest with you. Okay, this is uh, relationship problems. There is relationship problems here. And, and it, maybe it's with a family member. I'm not sure if it is, but it feels like it is. It could be a partner as well. Um, there is another opportunity that was missed. It was missed. Ah, judgment. And it is upright. So this is a realization. This is a truth coming out. So we do have a truth that is about to be revealed. This is also a card of karma. This is being held accountable. It's realizing, which I, I saw that right here. Somebody is about to be realizing something, realizing the truth. Okay, and somehow it's going to be affecting you. If you're not realizing it, there could be somebody that is on the outside that missed something and now they're realizing the truth. This is a wake-up call. Okay, this is definitely a wake-up call. Somebody's going to get a wake-up call. This is an awakening. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Page of Wands. And the Emperor. So the Emperor is a judge or a ruler. Um, somebody that is very decisive, very experienced. Uh, this is somebody in a position of authority um, that is very structured and organized. All about the rules. Um, follows the rules. So there's something about rules here. There could be a ruling in the near future. 
This is a wake up call. Somebody is about to be judged because this is a judge and this is judged. So I think there's there's a there's a ju judgment. There's a judgment being made. Now the page of wands is um, somebody that is very impulsive. Okay, this is, it could be good news for you. This may be good news for you. Um, but the page of wands is. an offer or an invite it's exciting but you need to remain focused this is somebody who loses focus they lose track this is a new discovery of some sort next to this four of cups reversed so there is a new development it's like there's a new development here the eight of pentacles reversed is something not working out we have a partnership that is Oh, there's no harmony. There's no balance. It's not working out. Somebody's not putting in very much effort. They're discontent. They're not happy. Um, they may have been ignoring the truth or whatever, but the truth is coming out this week, whether you, whatever, who, whoever this is, the truth is being revealed. You can't hide from the truth. The truth is coming out. There's going to be a judgment that is made. Um, this is this is good news. It really is good news. Something is about to burst into your world, perhaps. If you are single, say you're single and you're watching this, you may have a new suitor that comes in. Okay, all of a sudden, this new suitor enters your life. Um, this person has their eye on you. Their mind is made up. They, they see you as somebody that is very harmonious, you know, that you, your music, this is like music. It's like, what is it? Music to their ears. Or you may hear something that is music to your ears. That's what I feel like this is. This is something that you've been wanting, which is interesting. Anyhow, this is this is an exciting opportunity. It's something exciting. It's going to make you happy, but this is not happy, so it's interesting. If you are single, there could be somebody that just shows up, okay? They see you from afar and they and they they make up their mind. They make up their mind that, you know, they're interested. This is interested. So you may have a new love interest this week for some of you. Um, but we have a partnership that isn't working out or didn't work out. This is realizing and accepting the judgment. If you think about judgment day, okay, it's realizing the truth and accepting the truth. Okay, so it's acceptance. The emperor is somebody that makes a decision. This is somebody that is very masculine. This is a boss or a judge or a ruler. Whoever it is, it's a decision maker. This person is battle ready. They have a tough exterior, very wise, very experienced, maybe a businessman, judge or a judge or something like that. Whoever this person is, this person takes control. They're going to take control of the situation. So we have somebody here that is, and this is a masculine energy. Um, we have somebody here that is taking control. Could be a father, could be a boss, could be a husband, uh, whoever. It could be a judge. <laughs> I just want to keep saying judge because it's next to the judgment card. Seven of Cups reversed. King of Cups. One more card. Eight of Cups reversed. So this is somebody that is pretending to be happy. They're superficial. They're shallow. They're on some sort of, oh, there's some sort of uh, avoiding here. There's avoidance with the Eight of Cups reversed. You know, somebody has been able to avoid um, putting in any effort or they've been able to avoid leaving. They've been staying put, staying in a situation that is emotionally unfulfilling they were unclear they were confused they may have been self-medicating um there's a lot of a confusion here there is there is but i feel as though there's some sort of clarity that is coming somebody is going to be seeing clearly they're going to see clearly what the truth is the truth is going to come out and it's going to be very clear 
okay? And the judgment call is going to be made. And I feel like the judgment call this week is going to be made in your favor. It may have something to do with children. Children, children, children. So we have children, because this, this, in this seven of cups reverse, we have the six, because we have one cup that is upright, and we have six cups that are reversed. Six of cups is about, it is about children. It's about when you were a child, or children, or, or innocence, or something like that. But anyhow, um, I feel like uh, we have an individual that um, has been able to pretend. There's a lot of pretend, but the seven of, I mean, the eight of cups reverse and the seven of cups. There's some sort of pretending here. But we may have a, a counselor or a doctor or a somebody that is in some it feels like they're in a health profession or something like that that makes a judgment call or, or something like that but anyhow um the the king of cups is somebody that is very feeling very intuitive um this person is very very wise as well we have a very wise individual here that um is trying to bring some sort of emotional um, stability it's emotional stability um, into your life you may I feel like you have somebody here that is interested in you whether it's or they're interested in what you have to say whatever because remember I said something about communication at the beginning there's somebody that is, is very interested um, they may have uh, not been interested in the past but now they are so somebody's interested they're very very interested okay um, the Six of Cups reverse, that is freedom from up, but this is the Seven of Cups. But the reason I keep on saying Six of Cups is if you look at this card, we have Six Cups reversed, and one cup in the middle is upright. So that's why I keep saying Six of Cups. Anyhow, we have an opportunity for love here. We absolutely do. We have an opportunity for love. This is a new start in love. This is self-love, okay? This is um, a new beginning, okay? We have a new beginning here that... Somebody has been waiting for, okay? They've been waiting for it. But they may have been ignoring the opportunity because they're in some sort of illusion with the Seven of Cups and staying in an emotionally disappointing situation. Not really putting in much effort to separate or to deal whatever the, with whatever the imbalance is. So somebody has been pretending that everything is good, okay? But I think there's something that is going to happen this week with this problems being resolved you know that it's a messy situation it really really is i think it's a messy situation and i think it's going to be resolved this week there's going to be an order perhaps the the emperor is he orders things there could be an order that is set in place okay could be a judgment okay um this is definitely a wake-up call somebody's gonna get a wake-up call um, for some of you, you know, the judgment can be a reconciliation. So some of you, there could be a reconciliation with somebody. Um, somebody may be coming back. They may be apologizing. You may hear, I'm sorry. Okay? You may hear, I'm sorry. You may not, so don't get your hopes up. Okay? But the Eight of Cups in reverse could absolutely be an apology. It could be somebody saying, I'm sorry. And they could be saying sorry for any reason. It may not be what you think. They could be they could be saying, I'm sorry for this mess. I'm sorry for making this mess. I'm sorry for, you know, whatever has happened. You know what I mean? So you could be hearing the words, I'm sorry, um, this week. Um, whatever is happening with this page of wands, if, I feel like it is music to your ears, okay? So I think that you're going to receive some good news. But um, it does involve a separation, okay? Which is interesting um, because that two of cups reversed and the ten of cups reversed is, is, is you know, a separation of some sort. Um, but there is a new opportunity for love here, you know? Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries. We have Capricorn. We have uh, Scorpio again. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right here. This person is very 
you know, fly by the seat of their pants. So this person in the middle, you know, you may be receiving good news in regards to whoever this person is. It, it appears that it's a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. But the Page of Wands is somebody that um, likes new things. This person likes new things. They take risks. Um, they don't care what anybody thinks. Very, very, and they don't, and, and in a good way, in a good way, in the upright. This person is very comfortable with whatever they do. Um, they're brave. This person is brave. I can do whatever I want. Whoever, you know, I feel like you're going to be receiving some news in regards to uh, an individual that may have been struggling. You know, it feels like this has been a struggle. Um, for some of you, you have a new, you have a new interest. You have a new interest that is bursting into your life. Okay, this person just you know, sees you, they see you, and uh, that's the one, you know, that's, that's the one I want. There is a bit of an age difference here, though. I feel like there's an age, there's an age difference. Um, there is some sort of judgment being made. There is judgment with both of these cards. And I think whatever this judgment is, it's good. It's in your favor. It is definitely in your favor. It's almost like I'm sorry this has happened with this Eight of Cups. I'm sorry. You know, forgiveness will be needed, you know, with the, with judgment. There's forgiveness here. Judgment is a card of forgiveness. It is. You think about Judgment Day. So anyway, I feel like this week is going to be a big week for you because I think there's a problem that is going to be resolved. And whatever this problem is in your life, I feel like um, judgment is going to be in your favor. I think you're going to be receiving an apology from somebody. I don't know who. Good luck.